Hey guys, welcome back to Handmade Home. I'm Hester, and today I'm going to show you how you can add a bit more color to your interior. So I'm back in my paint clothes because it's time to add some color to the wall behind me. This wall's in my studio, and it's been white since I moved in because it's such a nice, easy blank canvas. But it woke a bit damaged from months and months of shooting because stuff I stick to the wall and just furniture goes against that. And I'm doing something tomorrow, I have to shoot something here to be more colourful, so I thought why not make a mountainscape on the wall. You start by taping off the shapes of your mountains on masking tape. I'm using frog tape because I think this goes on really nicely and gives nice clean lines, but you can use any masking tape that you like. And you can measure your shapes out if you want to do really symmetrical shapes, but I think it's very nice just to do it by hand and just look, see what looks nice on the wall and how tall or how wide you want to go. So I started with the boring taping work, which is taping off your skirting boards and your plug sockets. Just really you have to do this, otherwise you will end up with paint over bits you don't want. And also uh, tape off if you have any door frames or any walls you don't want to have paint on. Now to start with the shapes, just uh, start sticking on the tape where you want your mountains to go. So just keep going until you've done the whole wall. So I'll mark the whole wall and these will be my foreground mountains. I'm going to paint these a darker shade. And then behind here, I'm going to do a few little peaks as well. I'm going to paint in a lighter colour. I'm just going to mask them off now. And just run your hands over your tape just to make sure it's stuck down correctly. We're going to paint the foreground mountains first. I'm using a wall paint by Valspar and I'm using the colour Young Cactus, which is a really nice soft green. And like what I normally do is I line my painting trays with aluminium foil because then it's so much easier to clean afterwards. If you have any spots you can't reach with your roller, just use a brush to do the tips of the mountains or the edges or around your uh, plugs. So now the first colour is on, it's time to do the lighter colour. And for this, I'm just mixing a bit of white with the green to make a lighter colour. See, I'm doing with a brush because this is just too small for me to do with a roller. If, like me, you paint on white, you most likely only have one coat of paint. But have a look. If you think I might need a second coat, just let it dry and apply the second coat. But otherwise, now the paint is still a little bit wet, you're going to peel the tape off so you get nice and clean lines. So now the tape is gone, it's time to make a decision. I initially really like this white line because it looks really good on camera, but in real life, I'm not quite sure. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna attach the back mountain to the front mountain. And what you do is just put a bit of tape around here and there, and then just with a lighter paint, fill in the gap. I've done a little try over here and I do really like it. But yeah, it's up to you. Leave it more graphic with a white line or make it a little bit more realistic with uh, attaching the two. And as soon as you paint it, Take the tape off so you don't damage the darker green paint. So this took me around an hour to do and I think the impact is amazing. I love having this mountain range on my wall. But if that comes one day that I don't like it anymore, it's so easily repainted. Just get a white wall paint or a coloured one and just go over it again. Because that's a good thing about paint, you can keep redoing it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and have a look on my website. HesterHandmadeHome.com is full of craft and DIY ideas for your home. I'll be back next week with a new video. See you then!